listen to anything else I've said tonight, listen very carefully to this. Because this is coming to Washington to cash in and then go get a several hundred thousand dollar year job as a foreign lobbyist and use your influence in the White House and Congress to ship not only jobs overseas, whole industries overseas. Here we go. Between 1980 and 1985, 76 former federal officials left office to become registered foreign agents. Now, this will break your heart. This is like a general switching armies in the middle of a war. They should come to serve and go home, not cash in. We got 35-year-old boys that have trouble holding a minimum wage job. They don't have any skills. All they've done is run around and, you know, serve as a senior official in Washington. They're making two or three hundred thousand dollars a year because they got his ear. Now, even worse, and I hope you will put your foot down and make both parties throw the cards on the table. They've got these people on leaves of absence now working on presidential campaigns. Foreign lobbyists on leaves of absence working on presidential campaign. That's like having Russian spies in the middle of a presidential campaign during the Cold War. Because we're in a business war now, folks. Go down the list. Eight special assistants to the President of the United States. Five assistants to the President of the United States. Two deputy assistants to the President of the United States. One President's Counselor, one Deputy White House Press Secretary, one Chief of Staff to the Vice President of the United States, two U.S. Trade Representatives, six Senators, nine members of the House Representative, 12 senior Senate staff members, five senior House staff members, four retired generals, a chairman and a vice chairman of the U.S. International Trade Commission. And the sickest thing of all, we had a key guy on the Trade Commission leave and go to the other side in the middle of the negotiation. He knew the plans, the strategy, the details. As far as I'm concerned, that's economic treason. If we get there, we're going to clean this mess up on day one. I don't have to tell all of you.